guys. So I just came back from my date today. It was horrible. You already know how my dates go. They don't go good. The first one went so good. He took me out to bowling, arcade. Put like this fucking mattress by the beach. Like what? Mm -hmm. Like I thought he was perfect. He was older. So I thought he was going to be like, he was 28, babe. I'm 20. So I thought, Ooh. you know, I thought it was just going to be better. So I went on another day. He wanted me to stay the weekend. So he drove me. It was all fine. It was all fine. He just hated my shows at first. He made me tacos. I showed him my shows. And he was like, I hate this. And then I showed him Jay. And he was like, I hate this. And I was like, what? I was like, I knew it from there. I knew it from there. I knew it. I knew it from there. I was like, oh. This might not work. Work so I knew it that was the ick from like the start but then he started role playing he had to play with his friends on like Dungeons and Dragons and he started role playing role playing on a date like literally like laughing like doing a different laugh like doing a different voice I was like oh! I was about to like get picked up by this other guy but then I was like I can't be rude he made me tacos he drove me here like, yes you can be rude the next day yes, we were gonna can. go like thrifting and he was probably gonna pay like fuck <laughs> like, i really lost a bag here bro so we woke up we did things and he just got he just i think that's what he wanted the whole time and that's all he wanted and then he faked a phone call he faked a phone call it literally, it was the timer. I looked at the phone. It was the timer. Why are these boys so, like, they don't know? It's, like, confusing. I was like, what? You're on timer. I didn't say that. I would have said it. I just wanted to go home at that point. He was like, okay, I'm going to have to go to work. Like, I'm sorry. And he took me home, and we, like, barely even spoke. He literally blared the music so I couldn't speak. I was like, ah! Oh, it's this treatment. It's this treatment. Okay. And then this toll person asked us, what's our Sunday going to be? And he was like, oh, I'm just going to go home. Chill. I was like, he's like, no, I'm just joking. I'm going to work. Uh, oh, no, you're not. I'm going home to just chill. Caught you. Like you just caught yourself in the act. I swear these men need to be more smarter. I thought a 28 year old was gonna be better for me, and no. They're all the same, guys. And then on the way home, I deleted all the apps. I was like, I'm not doing this again, like ever again. No, I'm not doing this again. No more dates for me. I'm gonna switch up the content, cause ew, no. No more dating content, fuck. Let me tell you what. So, right here. When baby girl was like, I'm 20, I would have, I was like, ah. <laughs> if you're 20 years old and you're dating and you're taking it seriously or you on apps you're 20 and you're on apps get out of here get out of here there <laughs> no apps are for people who are 25 and up <laughs> apps are just not for anybody nobody at all like oh i didn't want to be rude mm -mm. i kicked that out the window a long time ago because people are rude like they, he was just rude to you boo you were just like oh i didn't want to be rude no fuck that he was rude <laughs> that, mm. See, I ain't got time for that because people only want one thing and I wrote it in a song. Let me tell you what not to do if you date men. Don't date a man who looks like boy RuPaul. He's going to make you smell 100 perfume samples before you can kiss him. And then when you do, he's going to make the face that dudes make when you kiss them. But it's going to look like boy RuPaul making that face. <laughs> Don't hook up with a man who won't open the door for you. You're going to get there. All the lights are going to be off. The door is going to be open, but you knock. No one answers. So you open the door and the lights are all off in the house. And you're like, is this a B&E? It is. And you should definitely not continue to hook up with him because every inch of that man's body is going to taste like cigarette smoke. Don't date a man with a collection of Power Rangers action figures. Because like, yeah, he's going to give you a bomb ass massage, but then halfway through the sex, he's going to have like a back spasm and he's not going to be able to move and it's going to be really scary. And somehow... It's going to be the Power Rangers' fault. What did I just watch? And what's wrong with RuPaul? I would love to be on RuPaul's hit list. Ah, I hit it from the back. Ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? RuPaul is foin. Boy and girl version. Like, foin. Like, how you doing? Like, I wish RuPaul would just breathe on me, honey. What's wrong with having a RuPaul boy face? Because RuPaul boy face, I don't know if you've noticed, but has freckles. And it's absolutely adorable. And Power Rangers, how old are we? How old are we? I was a Power 
Rangers fan. But how old are we, honey? Rest in peace to that recent Power Ranger that passed away. But I'm not, what, any action figures, unless you have, unless it's an action figure of me. Like, I'm going to get those dolls. What is that little action figure, little figurine of me? <laughs> unless it's me. Why do you have figures? Like, why do you have figures? Unless it's like a celebrity, a collector's items, whatever. Like, people have collector's items. That's cool. If your Power Rangers is a collector's item and you're not playing with them as a hobby at this big age that we're at now that was just wow that was a him video because <laughs> ain't nobody can relate that was that one person <laughs> he was talking to he was basically like shout out to this one person don't ever date this person this is the person i'm talking about <laughs> action figure what's the worst date you've ever been on this girl asked me what i got up to during covid and i was like oh well i started to do classical piano again and uh, what, what did you get into? And she was like, well, I just started opening my mind up to new things and listening to podcasts. And it's like, pray tell, tell me what. And she's like, Joe Rogan. And I was like, Egh. and then she starts bringing up this guy that I forget, but he was this re religious zealot. And this was all around the time of trans kids and Fox News saying that trans kids could just like walk into a pharmacy or go to a grocery store and like get hormones. So she started saying all this crazy shit thing. about coming from Joe Rogan and this fucking guy about like trans kids and stuff. It's the only date that I've ever left. I was just like, this really isn't gonna work out between us. I didn't. I was just like the pharmacy and the hormones. I was just like, wait, what? Are, what? Well, is there a problem with that? Like, I, that's what? I'm just so confused. I'm just so confused. I don't understand. But I'm gonna just. That was a her date thing. I, like, if she would have put more and more like, hey, they can just go into the store and get hormones and um, that shouldn't be allowed. It'd be like, oh, okay, I, I see what the red flag was. But if it was just like, like, I need to see if it was it a positive or a negative thing they were trying to relate to her. You know what I'm saying? But if it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't really listen to Joe Rogan, but I've watched shorts that featured him in the YouTube video. So... I don't know, I really know what that is about. Like, she's talking about like conspiracy theory. People are not. Is that like a red flag? Because I'm a. <laughs> I am definitely one of those persons. Like, I like to know what's going on. I like to do research. If it's like a little weird, it's just like, hmm, make you think. You know, I don't know what was wrong with that. I guess she needed to expand with that one because what was the deal? Like, trans people are cool. They're good. They're fine. They're good. they're cool in my book. Like, you do you is your life you do you you make yourself happy my opinion does not matter when it comes to your life you feel me your opinion is the only ones that matter in your life so no one can comment on other people's lives you know what i'm saying like for a dramatic drastic change or whatever like if it ain't hurting you why does it matter you know what i'm saying like they matter but what is why why do you have to have an opinion on it? You know what I'm saying? Like everyone has an opinion, but not everybody has to voice their opinion. You feel me? So I I I'm gonna get more context on that. Go follow her to figure out what's going on. Come back here and comment and tell me what's going on. What was the problem? Worst first date? So people a very popular first date question is tell me about your worst first date, right? And in my mind I start going through all my first dates. I'm like, I've never had a bad first date. Right but I have, okay? I've had a bad first date, but it was so unmemorable that my mind don't process it or register it as a date, okay? And so, I went on this date, I met up with this young lady, beautiful young lady, I do remember that. The jazz. We met at, uh, we met at Matchbox, I think it's the name of the restaurant. Um, it was, I think it's in Chinatown in DC. And so we met there. And she, I get there before she does. She walks up, you know, quick little hug, look nice, smell nice, you know. Your efforts are noticed and appreciated, you feel me? And so we go to the restaurant, sit down, <laughs> we order, and then from there, nothing. Nothing is said. I for, like, I literally forget that I'm on a date. Like, I'm like enjoying the crimes and the text messages. I'm like, ha ha. Like, it's so like, I literally feel like I'm on a date by myself. 
And it's bad because you know how like, you feel that pressure. Like, I need to say something. I need to try to get the vibes going. I literally felt nothing. Like, I literally felt like I took myself on a solo date. <sighs> like, it was no pressure for me. Like, I don't feel pressure or anything. I'm just enjoying my meal. Enjoying my meal. And then the next work, like an hour and a half of that. I didn't say anything else for an hour and a half. And I said, you ready to go? How was your food? Even if nothing comes out of a date, I still like to make sure we have a good time usually. It was bananas. I was, it was unlike me and I just don't know why. I don't know why or how that happened because texting the vibe was good. Um, and even that, so we got in our Ubers and parted ways and she texted me like, what was that about? And I was like. <laughs> she was, <laughs> she was very sweet and there were no bad vibes, just nothingness. Who fault was it, friend? Who fault was it, friend? Because if I go on a date with somebody, I don't know, because I'm usually, I'm a conversation starter. So if I start a conversation like three or four times, then it's just like, okay, there's nothingness. However, after y'all got the food, y'all stop talking. But if I go to the, on a date and you all everywhere in your phone, everywhere but on me, we got a problem. We like this is the end of the conversation. It might, matter of fact, it might be the end of the day. I'm a type of person who will get up from a date. Like, oh, we're done. This is done. I don't know, Shadi, but let's not do that again. Let's not. <laughs> I don't want to do that no more at all. <laughs> it was a uh, cool to to get out, but I don't want to do that no more. So we chopped it right there because what the. F yeah, I don't know. I who whose fault was it? Like in that situation, I would self-analyze like heck. Like, oh, did I do everything I need to do to make this date a successful one? Because <laughs> it's just like, hey, no way you about to go on a date with me, and we're just not talking. Even if I don't like you, if I already, even if I already put it in my head that we just friends or we're not gonna have another day after this, I'm still gonna be interacting and engaging. Like this is still us together. We on a date. You gonna get all of my energy. That's why I feel like when people was like, oh, even though I know it's not gonna be a second date, I'm gonna split the chat. No, I'm not because you're still gonna get all of my energy. You're still gonna get my personality. You're still gonna get this conversation, this good, good, like this attention. It's still gonna be given to you. Even if I already wrote you off in my head, I'm. it's not gonna like, I, maybe it's because I've been a waitress before. I've been like, I've done customer service. So you always have to keep up the front. You always got to put on the face, keep up the face. And like, so maybe that's it. Maybe that's the case because ain't no way. Ain't no way. Because at first when she first started talking, I was just like, oh, this was just a meal. This was just a meal. But if you, the fact you were like, oh, I didn't try either. It's like, hmm. What's really the problem, friend? What is it really? Because ain't no, no. way.